Fuck what you heard, heard. Now you gotta get in your bag. So, when you get cash, they mad. I don't try to bring up my pad. You better get in your bag. Your bag. You better get in your bag. Your bag. Yo. Wait. That cat don't stop for nobody. Put up in a portion. I left. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Today is, um, I don't know. It's Tuesday. I think it's the 15th. Today is January 15th, 2019. And this is my fourth video of 10 today. And um, be looking out for another one tomorrow because I'm just about to start rolling them out. We're back in um, business, baby. Because I'm back at school um, yay <laughs> um, so far my classes are fine my all my professors are cool one of them I had last semester so I already knew him but um, the other two that I met are cool and then I have another class today 2 to 3 20 and so I'll probably let you guys know tomorrow how that one is um, so today's video is just going to be something light and something helpful to you guys because it is January. It's still the beginning of the new year and I know you're trying to make your sh money this year so that way, you know, we won't be balling on a budget for Christmas next year like we were this year. Well, last year, okay? So, yeah. Um, today I'm going to be giving you guys 10 interview tips, okay? And these work for me. And so now I'm sharing them with you, okay? So yeah, let's just get into it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, leave a friendly comment down below, and share. And also, if you use any of these tips, also let me know down in the comments, okay? So that way I know if I'm, you know, if I'm actually helpful, you know, okay? And when you subscribe, share with a friend or ten, and tell them to come check out my channel and some of my content. Um, also subscribe to the Keisha and Jazz channel down in the description box below because we'll be posting on there very soon. You know, we're just getting back into the, you know, the routine. And so, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first tip that I have for you is to know something about the company. Now, this might sound a little weird, and you might be like, what are you talking about? Know something about the company. I'm just there so I can get a job, so I can work, so I can get some sh money. But it'll it'll laugh a little, little, little bit. Can't even talk. It'll leave a good impression if you know they ask you something about the company, or if you know you say that you know something about the company, you know, that'll leave a very good impression. So just for a quick example, um, when in 2016 when I did my interview for Chick-fil-A because that was my first job um, and I actually really liked it um, they asked what was my favorite thing to order off the menu now I had only eaten at Chick-fil-A one time and that was like years beforehand we were just at the mall I was with my cousin and I just ordered something so I'm like I haven't even had Chick-fil-A enough to know what my favorite thing is off the menu. But so the way the interview was, because it was a new company, um, well, a new Chick-fil-A opening up in that area. And so the way they did the interviews, because, you know, they needed workers in order to open the business, obviously, is um, they did it. We were in a group. And so everybody else went and I just said something that somebody else said because I didn't know what my favorite thing was to order off the menu because... I hadn't ever really ordered off the menu so even something just that simple can leave a very good impression so know something about the company okay number two number two know why you want the job again can't just say yeah I'm here to make money you know you just know something because they're gonna ask you oh so why did you apply at Chick-fil-a today why did you apply at Geico today why did you you know what I'm saying they're gonna ask you that so know why you want the job all right don't just say because I need to make some money come up with something anything aside from that okay all right number three dress nice you do not have to go all out you do not have to go buy a suit and a tie and a tux and all that you do not need to do all that you do not have to wear your prom dress to an interview honey no okay 
just dress nice, smell nice, okay? A nice little polo, some khakis will do, or a pair of jeans and a nice shirt will do. That's all. That's all. That's all. You're a female, it's nice outside. I mean, it's not nice outside right now, so if you use these tips right now, you bet not, unless you got them like some stockings or something. But a nice little dress will do, you know what I'm saying? But for the weather right now, a nice pair of pants and a blouse, maybe some flats, maybe just some nice, you know, shoes. Nothing over the top. That's it. You know? Okay. So, number four, be on time. I cannot stress this enough. Be on time. But do not be there too early because you're going to look a little too desperate. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, just be on time. Okay? I've heard 15 minutes early is good enough. Okay? So, you know, something like that. Or maybe if you pull up a little extra early, just wait outside for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But just make sure that you're on time. If your interview is at 9 o'clock, then you need to be there. Okay? be there at 8 50 all right don't be pulling up parking your car at nine o'clock or else you're not gonna get the job okay all right I'm glad we understand next okay number five no three adjectives to describe yourself because literally the interviews that I've had I haven't had that many now okay but the interviews that I've had, literally this question has come up every single time. They want to know three words for me to describe myself. And I'll be like, um, I'm me. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? But this, this question literally comes up all the time. So know ahead of time. Now I'm telling you that that's a question you can expect to be asked by your interviewer. You're welcome. Okay, whether you say like, usually I'll say like hardworking, outgoing, friendly, you know, just some, you know, some nice little words because those are things that I am though, by the way, you know, I don't just throw those out there, but you know what I'm saying? Just three adjectives, know those. All right. All right. Um, number six, number six, do not down talk your last company. Okay. And so they may ask you, you know, if, you know, why did you want to leave your previous job? Do not say, oh, because the managers suck. Oh, because this or it was nasty or da 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 da. Because that lets them know off the bat if anything was to happen with that company and you decide to leave them. You're going to go to the next and down talk them and their company. So don't do that, baby. Don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. All right? Okay. So maybe something else that you could say if they ask, maybe you can say, um, it wasn't working well with my school schedule or, you know, it was further out. Um... You know, just something like that. Do not down talk your last company. Even if you did quit your last job or leave your last job because the manager was horrible or because they were nasty. Do not tell them that. Okay? All right. All right. Um, number seven. Now, for some... Um, jobs this isn't necessarily required but for some like when you apply online they want you to um, upload your resume and things like that and so make a resume have one on deck you know what I'm saying if you if you're applying for this fancy company you know what I'm saying um, you can have like a nice little portfolio or you know a folder with your resume in it and things like that just have it on deck you know and um, make one so that way if you ever come across like on Indeed, they um, let you fill out a resume, like template, and it just uploads with um, every job that you apply for and things like that. So just make one. Have one on deck. They're not that hard. All you need is like your name, your phone number, your address, um, just like a quick synopsis about yourself, um, you know, previous jobs that you've had, like leadership roles, things like that. So it, it's not that difficult, okay? Um, number eight, your posture is very important in an interview, all right? If you lay down 
you know what I'm saying? You slumped over. You're looking very uninterested in what the interviewer is saying. You're most likely not going to get the job. So, your posture is very important. Now, you ain't got to look all like you're trying too hard, but just, you know what I'm saying, sit up straight, look at them, eye contact is important, and you know, you're going to be good. You're going to get the job. You're going to get it. All right. Number nine, smile. Have a nice smile. Practice your smile if you need to. Now, my smile kind of fake right now, but you know, cheese, smile. Okay? Don't walk up in there looking all mean. Because then they're going to think, like, say, say you're applying to be the cashier at McDonald's. You walk in there looking like this. Mean. Mugging. Bugging. They're going to think you don't want the job. You're not about to be mean mugging my customers and have them not coming back because you mean. You know what I'm saying? So smile a little bit, even if you got to force it. Show your teeth. Don't be afraid. Okay? And then number 10, a firm handshake. When they reach out to shake your hand, it has to be firm. You know what I'm saying? Don't squeeze it too tight now. Don't want to cut off no circulation. But just a nice little handshake will do. Practice with your mom. Practice with your dad. And you're going to be good. That's all. Simple tips. And that's 10 of them. Oh, bonus tip. Brush your teeth. Okay? You don't want to be talking to nobody and, and your breath stink. You're not going to get the job. All right? You got to smell nice. You got to look nice. You got to act nice. No, don't act. Be nice. Okay? And boom, you're going to be good. And that's all that I have for today. Um, I hope those tips help you guys. And, yeah, like I said, if you use them, leave it down in the comments below and let me know um, how they worked out for you. And that's all that I have. I'm going to go eat because I'm hungry. Um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share. Peace, love, and hair grease. Gotta get it by any means. Things ain't really what they seem. One day they on your team. The next day they trying to scheme. Cause when you get that bag, you better watch your back. Quality. Thank you. Oh, watching.